Hi, today we're going to be going over Module 2, Lesson 12, Problem Set. So that you have the opportunity to check your work, look for any possible mistakes or misunderstandings, and also at the same time look to see if you're on the right track or if there's areas that we need to work on. So starting with number one, find the missing values in each column. So, so column A, 48 divided by 4 is 12. Negative 48 divided by negative 4, there's two negatives, so it's also a positive 12. I'm going to add my triangle because I know that any time I see a negative sign, just one negative sign, I have to use this triangle. I have negative 48, ooh, there we go, divided by positive 4, so my answer has to be a negative. Well, same thing here. Okay, so looking at column B, 24 divided by 4 is 6. Negative 24 divided by negative 4, there's my two negatives, so my answer has to be positive. Negative 24 divided by 4 is equal to a negative 6, because I have to have two negatives in a problem, if there's a positive. And 24 is also a negative 6. Okay, moving on. 63 divided by 7 is 9, so negative 63 divided by negative 7 is also 9. I've got one negative, I have to have another negative. I have a positive and a negative, I have to have another negative. 3, I have to have, they're the same sign, so it has to be a positive different sign, so it has to be a negative, different sign, so it has to be a negative. So it's asking me to describe the pattern you see in each column's answers in problem one. So what we are just talking about is that when the divisor and the dividend are a member, This is my dividend, this is my divisor, and this is my quotient. So just remember that that answer has a different starting letter. The other two are both D words for divide, dividend. You can see the word divide in it, and divisor. Okay, so in looking at this, I'm noticing that when the dividend and the divisor have the same sign, they are positive quotients. It equals a positive quotient. So, if they have a different sign, or different signs, then it equals a negative quotient. Now on this next one, I had to sit and think a few minutes about, well, what are they asking me? Describe the pattern you see between the answers, the answers for column A and B. So when I'm looking, I'm noticing positive 12, positive 12, positive 6, positive 6. Well, what do those two have in common? What, do, what does this have? What do those have in common? Well, 6 is half of 12. Hmm. So let's see here. 6 is 1 half of 12. I'm just writing that down. They both have the same divisor. So, 24 
has to be half of 48, which it is. Huh. So there's kind of a pattern to that. Are y'all seeing that connection here? That 24 is half of 48, and because they're using the same divisor, that you're seeing that your quotients are also half. So if this is half, if this is a half relationship, then this is a half relationship because the divisor is the same. So what about these two in column C and D? Um, off the top of your head, I don't know about 63 and 21, but what about 3 and 9? What do I know about 3 and 9? Well, let's see. 3 is one-third of 9. So 3 is one-third of 9. Or 9 divided by 3, right? 9 divided by 3. Right? Okay. They also have the same divisors for each row. The same divisor. So do you think it's going to be the same relationship? So let's see here. Is 21... One third of sixty three? Well, it is. Because sixty three divided by three is equal to twenty one. So if you're using the same divisor, you can find a pattern to your between your quotients and your dividends. Okay. If you have any questions or concerns after reviewing this information, please remember to reach out to your classroom teacher for assistance.